this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Protection from influenza infection is extremely important. Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Richardson, and I'd like to thank all of my returning viewers and welcome all new viewers. Just to let you know that it's that time again. Flu season is upon us, and I've already seen a few cases of influenza. So everyone needs to protect themselves from that nasty flu infection by getting your flu immunization. The best time to get your flu immunization is between now and the end of October. Now, from November to January, you can continue to get your flu immunization if you didn't already get it. But this is the best time now and the end of October to get yourself protected from influenza infection. There are various forms of the immunization available. Check with your medical provider to see which form is best for you. Depending on your age and your health status, that will kind of dictate which form of the influenza immunization you can receive. The standard immunization or the flu shot can be given to people aged six months to 64 years of age. There's a high dose injection for people 65 years and up because people 65 years of age and older need an extra boost to be protected from influenza infection. For those of you who don't like needles, there's a, what's called the jet injector. That's for ages 18 to 64 years. And that's the immunization is administered with a device that sends a thin stream of liquid through the skin without using a needle. There's also the nasal flu, the spray in the nose. That can be given to healthy individuals aged 2 to 49 years. Now, for the nasal flu, there are some restrictions uh, in terms of who cannot receive nasal flu. Nasal flu cannot be given to pregnant ladies, but the CDC strongly recommends that pregnant women receive the flu shot. Speak with your obstetrician about this to see when you can safely receive the flu immunization. The good thing about this is not only do you protect yourself, but that protection passes to your newborn and protects the baby for about the first two months of life. So that's a good reason for pregnant women to get the flu shot, not just for themselves, but to protect their newborn. Other people who cannot get the nasal flu are people who are younger than two years of age, people who are 50 years or older, people who may be aged 2 to 17 years old who are on salicylate or aspirin-containing medications. If you have asthma and you are 2 to 4 years of age and have been wheezing in the past 12 months, you should not get the nasal flu, but you definitely should get the flu shot or flu injection. The, a note about uh, pediatric children, if you're age six months to eight years, the first year of life that you get the flu immunization, you will need to get a booster or you'll get one dose and then four weeks later, you get a booster dose. But that's only the first year for the first time if you get the flu immunization. After that, you only have to get one flu immunization each season. So a special note for people who may have egg allergy. People who have egg allergy and get hives can safely get the flu shot. And they don't need to wait 30 minutes after getting the immunization. For those rare individuals who have severe reactions, allergic reactions to eggs, it is advised that you receive your influenza immunization at a place where the staff can monitor you to make sure that you're not having a severe allergic reaction and in the very rare, rare case that you have a severe allergic reaction, they can provide emergency treatment. So as you can see, most people can receive the uh, flu shot or the injection. 
There are some people, if you're healthy between the ages of 2 and 49, you can receive the nasal flu. But just remember, people with suppressed immune systems, people who may be on aspen therapy, people who are uh, taking care of somebody that has a weakened immune system, uh, if you're pregnant and other special circumstances, you cannot take the nasal flu. But just about everybody can safely take the flu shot or the injection. Check with your medical provider to find out which flu immunization protection is best for you. If you found this information to be helpful, click the thumbs up sign. And we also encourage you to click the subscriber button. That way, when we update this channel, you will be notified. I would like to thank everyone for watching Doc C. Rich 3 TV. And remember, do all that you can to stay healthy and safe.